Go to Free Roam and open a map. Hit F11 to open World Editor. Go to Windows, Mission, Mission Editor. Create a new mission. Set mission type to Rally Stage. Give it a name. Click on Create Mission. Add a description. Edit the start trigger location. This is where your mission marker will be on the map. Click the button again to save the position. Type the author name and choose the vehicle selection. You can provide a choice of vehicles for your mission. Or just leave them empty if you want to use the player's car. Make sure you untick closed circuit, as this is not what we are creating. We will need to create a race file for the mission. But first, choose if we want to allow flip or recovery of the car and the time penalty they will assign. Remember to save your mission. Now click on this button to open the race tool. Here we will create the checkpoints that define the route of our stage. Hold shift and click to create a new waypoint. Hold your mouse click to adjust the size. Remember that the player will need to pass through them or the race will not be valid. So make sure they are large enough. You can also adjust the size and position later on. But it's better to get it right the first time to avoid confusion. You can adjust position rotation and scale by using the 1, 2 and 3 keys on your keyboard. For the mission to work we only need one for the start and one for the finish but make sure to add more where needed to not allow unwanted cuts. When you are done, go to the Start Position tab and set a Start Position. Then go to Track Layout and make sure Start Node, End Node and Start Position are set correctly. Save the race file. It will automatically be saved in our mission folder. Now go back to the mission editor and open the rally editor from this button. There are no pace notes here yet. We need to create a drive line first. Close the world editor. Hit escape and go to UI app. From the drop-down menu choose Rally Recce. This will add the Recce UI. Check that the correct mission is loaded. Check the driveline box and hit start. Now carefully drive through the stage to record the driveline. Keep the hairpins wide. Try to get it as clean as possible. We are not setting a time here. When you reach the end of the stage, click on stop to stop the recording. 
hit F11 and go back to the Rally Editor. Now we have a drive line and we can create some pace notes. Control click on a point in the drive line creates a new note. The green waypoint is the start of the corner, red is the end of the corner, and blue is the trigger for that note. This is where the note will get called. We don't need to worry about the trigger, as it will be automatically calculated based on the speed of the car during the race. We can deactivate the triggers from this button. Make sure that corner start and corner end are in the right position so that the distances between corners will be accurate. Now scroll down and set a structured pace note. This is a left hairpin. Go ahead and create the next note. If you are not sure of the angle of the corner, you can hit C on your keyboard. This will show numbers from 1 to 6, based on your wheel angle when recording the driveline. Keep in mind that it will not be accurate if using a gamepad. This is a right 4. Keep adding all the remaining pace notes. Hit save. Congratulations. Now our rally stage is ready to be driven. But we still need to add some props, like bales, barrows, cones, and Christmas trees. Hit Ctrl E to open the vehicle selector. Scroll down and find a prop to add to the stage. Move it in place. Use the keyboard keys 1 for position, 2 for rotation. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate objects. Now we are going to add a plastic barrier. But instead of duplicating it, we can use the object to spline tool. Create a new decal road where you want your objects to be placed. Then with the decal road selected, hit this button. Now select the object and set it up here. You can adjust the spacing between the objects and preview it. Then click on Create. But first, make sure you get the rotation right. Now we can delete the first object and also delete the decal road. Keep adding props wherever you feel the need for them. But remember this stuff has real physics, so it will affect the FPS if you have too many in the same place. When you are done, select all your objects in the scene tree. They are in the spawned vehicles folder. Right click and choose pack prefab. We need to save this in our mission folder. It is in gameplay, mission, our level folder, and rally stage. Here it is. The name has to be main prefab without a space. Hit save. Now we can check in the mission editor that the prefab has been loaded. This will load our assets when the mission starts. So now our rally stage is ready, and it will be marked on the map.
Hit start and enjoy your new special stage. Thanks for watching.